Hey, this is Gabe, one of the many active participants in the Gabby life. <laughs> and today, I want to show you my conversion of a flashlight to a gun light. Now, it's if if you want to try this also, it's it's very important what design of flashlight you pick. And this is the design I picked. Batteries that are parallel to each other so that I could basically separate them and then run a switch connecting one side to the positive side and one type one side to the negative side. And here I am at AutoZone looking for a switch. Found one for t uh, two bucks, which is a steal. But this is basically the way I'm just gonna convert it into a gun light so I could connect the switch closer to my trigger hand while keeping the light all the way at the end of the muzzle. And uh, here I am basically showing you what I'm doing. As you can see, this is just a proof of concept. So this design I'm doing, it's going to be the flashlight on a sled with a piece of wood at the back that is perpendicular to the sled. And in that piece of wood is going to be two bolts pushing into the batteries. And connected to the bolts are wires. So here I am cutting out the the sled and the that perpendicular piece the little square is that piece that'll go on the back and uh, once I finish cutting this you'll, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about so yeah that's pretty much it uh, makes a giant L shape right here I am cutting out the sled uh, cutting a groove out so that the um, flashlight will just lay uh, snug snug in the sled uh, originally I wanted to do this with my die grinder, but I, I didn't have the die grinder available to me, so instead I used a router. And this is actually the first time I've ever used a router. And I have to say, it's actually a pretty, pretty awesome machine. Um, I've always known what they could do, but I've never used one. But finally now, seeing its, its awesomeness, <laughs> I will have to say the future. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a router more often. And here it is with the groove cut out. I actually went deeper than this, and here's the sled put together. The, the back piece is already screwed in. So to mount the sled to the gun, I'm gonna use scope rings. And I remember we had this old red dot sight, and we've never really used it for the last 10-15 years. So I just ended up taking the scope rings, you know, finally putting them to good use, and I want to put them both on the sled. Well, I was going to put both. I end up only putting one because I figured that's that's strong enough. As you see, I'm drilling out the the old scope ring holes so I could fit in the screws, but I only put up one scope ring. <laughs> as we wait for me to finish this let me go ahead and say just don't don't bother don't bother making a conversion buy, buy a flashlight buy a, a gun light spend the 150 200 bucks for a good one this this project ended up being very yeah difficult I guess difficult time consuming Right here, I'm putting the scope rings on a 45 uh, mount, a canted mount, so that I can put it on the side of the gun, and the light will actually be, yeah, canted, canted on the gun. I'm putting on the tape now to keep the flashlight in place, but uh, I skipped showing you the part where I screwed in, I screw, I drilled out the wood so I could put in the bolts, and as you can see, here are the bolts pushed up against the back of the of the batteries and so now I'm gonna mount it on the gun to kind of show y'all what it's like and uh, you're gonna hear me laughing because this thing is is huge <laughs> it's, it's very very much present on the gun uh, but is it heavy I'm, no yeah I guess sort of but it's it's uh, effectiveness definitely outweighs its <laughs> weight.
<laughs> but right here, I'm going to be putting on the the uh, wires to, to run into the switch. And this is absolutely not the right way of connecting the wires. This The way I'm doing it is not strong at all, and it'll probably rip out in a week. But I'm just doing it this way so I can get to a, a, uh, a stopping point. And so here is basically the, the final light working. It works pretty pretty well too, and you're gonna see me pick it up in a second. But now I'm gonna have the switch right where my trigger finger is. And the switch is gonna be on a piece of wood so that it's pushed out away from the gun and I could actuate it. But as you can see right there, there's a switch mounted right in front of my uh right in front of my trigger finger. Now this design is is the rough draft. But I'm going to leave it like this until it breaks. And when it breaks, I'll fix it, and I'll make the whole thing look sleeker and more permanent and <laughs> probably use less duct tape. But I've always wanted a gun mount so that I could... Not a gun mount, a gun light so that I could be on the farm, and if I hear a, something, I can just turn on the light and engage it, like a coyote or a, or a raccoon or a possum, anything near the chicken house. And so a gun light makes it easier for me to protect the chickens or the goats in the middle of the night. But anyways, I hope this helped you a little bit, and uh, thanks for watching.